You want to play Minecraft with shaders that look like this, and honestly, I don't blame you. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get shaders in Minecraft 1.20.6, covering everything you need to know to make your game look like this. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that we're going to be using iris shaders for this, which is kind of a newer variant of shaders. In the past, you had to use Optifine for shaders, but Iris is just as, if not more, performant than Optifine, and it updates a lot quicker, allowing you to get shaders quicker, which is why we're using Iris shaders here today, instead of Optifine, which hasn't updated yet to Minecraft 1.20.6. So let's go ahead and do it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth text guide on getting Iris shaders. Once you're here, go ahead and click the Download Iris Shaders button to be taken to the official Iris Shaders download page here. Once you're here, click on Download Universal Universal Jar and the Iris Shader Installer will start downloading. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. And while that's downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown of XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. It's super easy to start your server, and within minutes, you can add mods, plugins, or mod packs and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, if there's any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting, get the first link in the the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, with Iris downloaded, we'll also want to download some shader packs. You can think of shader packs like texture packs. Every shader pack has kind of different styles. As you can see, this one's, you know, a bit brighter, maybe a more aggressive shading. This one's a bit less aggressive when it comes to shading. There's tons of different ones out there that you can install, and they're all great in, honestly, their own way. Every single shaders pack has its own thing that works really well. Today, we're going to be going ahead and getting complimentary shaders, and we'll also grab vanilla plus shaders, which is a very, you know, light shaders pack doesn't add a ton of shading in the game, and then we'll grab makeup ultra fast shaders as well. But this is linked in the description down below, and all of these are amazing and, and worth checking out and giving a try. You can install as many shader packs as you want. Nevertheless, once we're on makeup ultra fast, this is downloaded here on CurseForge. What we want to do is go to files, and then we want to find the most recent version. Now, this one is compatible with 1.20.6, but shaders packs work for very old versions all the way up to new versions. For example, if you find a shader pack that's for Minecraft 1.12, it's still worth giving it a try because it might work. However, Makeup Ultra Fast is updated. We can click the three dots here and click download. We want to repeat this download process for vanilla plus shaders as well. And as you can see, we've only got the 1.20.1 version, but that's completely fine. It's still going to work once we get in game. After vanilla plus shaders is downloaded, we've also got complementary shaders. Now our link will take you to it on CurseForge, but I do want to mention Modrinth here because it's very common to find shaders packs to download on Modrinth. And I don't want you to be scared if you find a shader pack on Modrinth. The download process is similar. You'll click on version and then find the version you want. 1.20.5, perfectly fine, but as you can see, this works all the way back to 1.8.9. So that, that's the wide range of versions that shaders will work for. Click the download button there and save the file if you need to, and now it's downloading. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and install shaders. To do that, I want to move everything to our desktop just because it's going to be a lot easier to, you know, kind of manage everything if it's on your desktop. We have all of our shader packs here, complementary shaders, Vanilla Plus shaders and Mega Ultra Fast, as well as the Iris Installer. We're actually going to be getting started with the Iris Installer, so go ahead and right click on that, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. In here, you will see the 1.20.6 game version, but what if you couldn't open up the Iris Installer? Like you didn't have Java when you right clicked and opened with, or you did, you clicked OK and it didn't work. Well, that's because you need Java 21. Specifically for Minecraft 1.20.6, you need Java 21. It's a recent change, it just rolled out, and because of that, a lot of times people are going to install shaders, they're going to install something, and their Java version won't work. Well, that's where Java 21 comes in, so you can download this from the description down below. There's an in-depth guide here as well. We're going to be updating our, our video here, but the process is exactly the same as far as installing it. You just download Java 21 from this link instead of Java 17, and then you're good to go. So Windows, x64 installer, and then it installs just like any other program. Now, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them to Java 21, but first, you're going to want to get Java 21. Once you've got that, you should be able to open up the Iris installer by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. Now in here, it's pretty simple. All you've got to do is select 1.20.6, make sure that Iris only is selected, and then click Install. And when you do, shaders will be installed. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure those are closed. And you'll also need to play Minecraft 1.20.6 before. That means just open it up to the main menu and close out of it using like latest release or something like that, and then you'll be able to install 
install Iris and Sodium for shaders. We can now close out of the Iris installer and it's time to open up Minecraft with Iris shaders to install our shader packs. To do that, we want to open the Minecraft launcher. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. We want to go ahead and make sure that we're playing with our Iris and Sodium installation. Now it's automatically selected for me. I can click play, click play again, good to go. But if it's it's not here for you, click on installations at the top and make sure modded is selected. As you can see, if I uncheck modded, it's not there. If I check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Iris here, click on new installations. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because as we know, that's the best place to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends. Then the most important part of this is clicking this version drop down box here and selecting release Iris fabric loader 1.20.6. So release Iris fabric 1.20.6 here. And then I'm going to change the resolution so we can see better once we get in game and click create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly is the Iris version. Go ahead and click play on that. Click play again. And now Minecraft's going to open up with the Iris shader mod installed. All we got to do from here is install our shader packs. So I'll meet you on the main menu to do that. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu. To install your shaders packs, go to options, video settings, and then up at the top there's shader packs. Once you've clicked on that, you've guessed it. All you've got to do is click open shader pack folder down here at the bottom and drag and drop any shader packs you want to install right into this shader packs folder. Watch this. Once you go back in game, bam, there they are. Complimentary, makeup ultra fast, vanilla plus shaders. They're all here. Let's go ahead and start with complimentary. Click on it, click on apply, and it will turn yellow, showing that it's active. I do want to mention that there are shader pack settings down here at the bottom, and you can see all of the different settings. Every shader pack has different settings that you can play around with, but there are tons of different ones with this pack, and a lot of the most popular packs out there will have tons of in-depth controls, including profiles that you can change. For example, if you have a you know lower-end computer, you could run shaders on very low and get a better FPS than you could, for example, me running on high here. Nonetheless, we click apply, and we're going to go ahead and jump on to our simple game hosting server here and check these shader packs out. You can actually switch shader packs in-game, so it's really, really cool and easy to do that, and it's a great way to really test different shaders packs and see which one you like the most. So as we load in here, we will be able to see that complimentary is going to be active and then we'll be able to, you know, switch to makeup ultra fast and then we'll end off with vanilla plus shaders, for example. So immediately you can see that sure enough, shaders is active. Um, you've got the, you know, shading here. You've got the volumetric clouds. Wow, that's a lot of phantoms. You've got the volumetric clouds. You've got even your, you know, player has a, sh a shadow. Shadow's coming off of this. Shaders is in fact active and looking good. This is one of my favorite shaders packs. We can then go ahead and switch to another shaders pack by pausing the game and then going to options, video settings. And up here at the top, going to shader packs, we can see makeup ultra fast now. If we click apply, you can kind of see what it changes in the background, but obviously we want to go in game to be able to see this a bit better. These packs are very similar, complimentary and makeup ultra fast, but there is some differences here. The sway in the grass and, and the crops is a little different, things like that. And then last but not least, there is vanilla plus shaders. This is a shaders pack that is really and truly trying to keep things as a vanilla as possible while adding in shaders. So you'll get some sway in the grass and things, but it's not going to be anywhere near as aggressive as the other packs. I mean, look how little sway that is. The shadows are a lot different. Things are a lot brighter. It looks like vanilla Minecraft just with some shaders. So there you have it. That's how you can add shaders to Minecraft 1.20.6. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy your shader packs. There's tons of them out there. Feel free to try a ton of different ones because all of them are a bit different until you find the perfect one for you. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.